okay so fine so what we discuss in the last lecture anyone remember architecture fine oh, okay let's get started then okay hmm. so uh, in the last lecture we discuss about uh, uh, like uh, what is the role of oracle dba and uh, how it is important to start your career as a oracle dba now oracle dba we called it as a oracle database administrator now whenever you want to start your career as a oracle dba there are two things which we must be aware about that so basically it's your sql and second one is your second one is your linux so those people who think that they have some basic knowledge of sql and uh, linux this knowledge is going to be really really helpful for you whenever you are thinking about to start your career into the oracle dba the good thing about the oracle dba is like you know you don't need to worry about the programming kind of skill set you don't need to write down the programming over here or those people who think that they are not the person who is not able to write down the coding or single line of code then this is a technology which will be really helping to the people to start with the oracle db so we have two options are there one is like i want to start from the very beginning so we will start from the very very basic we'll start from the sql or we can start from the linux and once we are done with the sql and linux then we are going to touch to our oracle dba concept because whenever you are thinking that i want to start my career into the dba side you should have a knowledge about the sql or linux that's very important okay now you tell me do you want to start with the sql or you want to start with the linux which topic you want to take it first it's up to you both are completely independent we can start sql also we can start linux also it's up to you whatever you suggest we can take that let's do yeah, one thing you. let's take it a poll then it will be much better uh, i'll create a poll and you guys will get the notification very soon start with you have sql and second option is linux so i'm saying save and you will get the launch so i start it did you guys get the pop up okay linux 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 is 71 72% 69 i think people are more curious to know about the linux first okay so if i see the result i see here that 65% people are saying linux and uh, 37 people 37 percent people 60 oh, okay, it's still loading still loading so around the ratio is um 60 40 okay 60 percent people are saying linux 40 percent people are saying sql so let's go with the majority and start with the linux okay so if you have already gone through our free sql and linux concept earlier then this is going to be really helpful for you again we need to brush up the things um good thing about this paid training like um, now i see most of the people are paid i think everyone is paid i don't know 
so since uh, the good thing about this training is like um, whenever you stuck somewhere whenever you think that okay i'm not able to understand or uh, i got stuck over here then you can ask the questions we are going to create our whatsapp group um you need to just install a software called anydesk whenever you have any question please post your questions to the whatsapp group we will take your control and we will fix the issues we are also going to tell you like what is the problem and we will take care of that each and everything okay we will take care of that each and everything so that part you don't need to worry we will take care of that part okay fine so what i will do i'll just share my screen and we are going to start from the beginning consider that this is our or consider that this is the first step of your success but again i am telling from the very very beginning that the level of efforts i am going to put from my side same level of efforts are also required from your side also so make sure that you people are doing good job and i'll make sure that you people will understand each and every concept from the very beginning now let's start from the sql what we call it as a sql what is this so sql is all about structure query language structure query language so what is mean by structure query language what is mean by structure query language see when we both are communicating to each other like i am there you are there we both are communicating to each other and i want to express my thought i want to express some knowledge with you so whenever i want to express my thought i want to express my knowledge i am using some language right what is that language it's a english language similar way similar way whenever you want to discuss with your database so let's consider that this is my database whenever i draw this circle now you consider that this is a database and in this database i have my table in this database my in this database my data is there okay so whenever i want to communicate whenever i want to communicate with my database i need a medium what i need i need medium i need one language so that language we called it as a sql sql is basically a language to communicate with the database what is this sql sql is basically a language to communicate with database we called it as a structure query language so there are multiple databases are there in the market like we have a database called oracle is there we have a database called mysql is there we have a database called sql server is there we have a database called postgres sql is there so do i need to learn their specific language do i need to learn sql for oracle do i need to learn sql for mysql do i need to learn sql for sql server or postgres sql no for all the database irrespective of any database for all the database irrespective of any database there is one language is there and that language we call it as a sql irrespective of any language or irrespective of any database there is a one language is there that language we call it as a s q l doesn't you don't need to worry like if i'm using oracle database or in future i'm going to learn about mysql or in future i'm going to learn about sql server or any other database i'm saying if you know sql you can survive with any database not a problem you can survive with any database and that is called structure query language but why we are learning database right why we are learning database what is the use of database see in oracle dba in last lecture i told you that the main responsibility of my oracle database administrator to to make this database up and running so if i want to make this database up and running 
I'm going to communicate with this database. I'm going to say to this database, boss, you need to be up and running. You need to be up and running. When I'm saying this message, na, I need a language. Which language? SQL, structure, query, language. So when I'm giving some command to my database, you start, you shut down, you do this, you do that. What I need? I need a language. And that language we called it as a structure query language. What language we called it as a structure query language. That language we called it as a structure query language. And that's how the things are, that's how the things are working. Now, we will try to understand about the SQL. Again, remember one thing in your mind that irrespective of any database, whether you have Oracle, whether you have S, whether you have any other database, if you know how to run the SQL queries on one database, you can run that SQL queries on other databases also. No need to separate a different, different databases or different, different uh, language for that one language and that is a good thing you know why to see i'm imagining sometime like if we have one language throughout whole world then that would be much better right see my my first language is marathi so i'm much comfortable in our first language second language is hindi i'm little bit comfortable in hindi but english is the third language <laughs> so the thing is, first of all, I'll think in Marathi, I'll convert in English. So it's a big problem, right? So, but if you have overall all the business level, if you have one language, so that you will not need to understand about the third language or second language, then it will be much better, right? So that's how the they have designed SQL in a such way that irrespective of any database you if you use any database now you have one language and that is easy you know that makes your life easy to work with the databases and that is the reason we are going to start with the sql structure query language till now whatever we discuss are you able to understand everyone Yes. Yes. Fine. So, yes, 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 yes. Language. Okay, fine. Now, there will be a question in your mind that um, how we are going to do the practice. Okay, that's fine. Like, you know, um, how we are going to do the practice. So if you want to do the practice of SQL, you need to install one database, any one database. I'm not saying that you should install only MySQL only or you should only install Oracle. You can install any one database. But since we are becoming Oracle DBA or we are going to start our career into the Oracle, better to start with the Oracle only. So first of all, we are going to install this Oracle database. And inside this Oracle database, we are going to create our tables and all. And when I want to, when I want to communicate with this database, I'm going to use SQL structure query language. So first of all, I need to install this Oracle database. That is my first task. My first task is to install the Oracle database. My first task is to install the Oracle database. That is my first task. Okay. So let's do one thing. Let's do one thing. Let's try to understand about how to install the Oracle database. If you want to install this Oracle database, you need operating system. Whenever you want to install any software, you need operating system, right? So I'm using this Zoom software. I need operating system. So I'm using currently Windows 11. If I want to install Chrome, I need operating system. If I want to install any software, just like Oracle also, I need operating system. So if you want to install Oracle, you can install this Oracle on, you can install this Oracle on Linux operating system also. You can install this Oracle on Windows operating system also. Any operating system. 
सो करंटली विच आई एम सींग राइट नाउ ओवर हियर दिस इज माय विंडोज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम व्हाट इज दिस ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम दिस इज माय विंडोज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड इन फ्यूचर यू कैन ऑल्सो सी हाउ टू इंस्टॉल द लिनक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो वॉट इज माई प्लान इज राइट नाउ द प्लान विच आई एम थिंकिंग राइट नाउ इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we are going to use windows operating system we are going to use windows operating system and on this windows operating system i am going to install database on this windows operating system i am going to install oracle database that is the plan and once you are comfortable with windows operating system and whenever we are going to start oracle dba that time i am going to install linux operating system that time i am going to install linux operating system and there i am going to install my database there i am going to install my database but if you have a database on linux or if you have a database on windows as a dba you don't need to worry about that whatever command you are going to run here sql similar command you are going to run here also both the commands are same to same don't think that if it is available on linux it will be different and if it is available on windows it will be different not like that whether it is on windows or it is on linux the sql commands are same only so right now our focus is to install the things over here and then later on we are going to see it on linux operating system also that's the plan for now are you able to understand guys till now Yeah, I'm able to understand. I have a question, if you don't mind. Yes, please. Yeah, I I don't have a Windows operating system. I'm using Mac, so. That's okay. Not a problem. We can do that. Okay. So those people who have some issues, uh, maybe those people who don't have laptop or maybe have a laptop but not much memory, we have lab access is also available. Okay, so we can create. we can give you lab access especially for the people who have some issues we can do that um but those people who have a laptop they can use their personal laptop also that is also possible okay so those people who don't have um, or any issues are coming let us know we will provide you lab access and there you can do the practice we will let you know how to do the practice and everything so that solution we already have clear Mm-hmm. That's fine. Any question, guys? So far, till now, anything you want to discuss? Let me know if you want to discuss anything. no fine so let's do one thing currently i'm using my currently i'm using my this windows operating system okay <coughs> so i'm using my windows operating system on this windows operating system i'm going to install my database that's the plan now these databases are also coming from different different uh, versions okay so i am going to install a database of version 21c on the top of this windows operating system the 21c express edition i am going to install on the top of windows operating system that's the plan okay so whenever you are thinking that i want to install any software whenever you are thinking that i want to install any software first of all what you need to do you need to download it right you need to download oracle 21c so you are going to download this oracle 21c and then you are going to install it then you are going to install it that's the plan so today what i will do i will show you how to download oracle 21c and then you are going to install it okay 
so there is a question like i have already installed linux in my windows os can i okay one more thing guys okay we have planned to do linux first or sql plus i missed that Linux, okay. Uh, we were supposed to do Linux. Yeah, like, <laughs> so why I'm talking about this as well? But I, I thought that the uh, poll results suddenly yeah. changed. That's also fine. Okay. Not a problem. We'll start from the Linux only. Okay. Fine. Anyway, that's, uh, that's what uh, I was about to discuss. But I'll do one thing. Now, since we have uh, this server will be there. Now this server, this server can be from your Windows. This server can be your Linux. This server can be from different, but Linux is widely used in the real time production environment. Why we are talking about the Linux? Because on the Linux only, on the Linux only, this database will be installed on the Linux only your database will be installed this oracle database will be there on linux operating system mostly okay not 100 percent sometime it can be on windows also sometime it can be on linux also but uh, this linux also provided by the multiple companies are there like we have red hat linux is there we have oracle linux is there right we have multiple other companies are there we have multiple flavors like we have CentOS is there, Ubuntu is there, Fedora is there, multiple flavors are there. But does it make any changes to your Linux command? Like if I'm using Red Hat Linux, do I have separate Linux commands are there? Do I have separate Linux command for Oracle? Do I have separate Linux command for CentOS? No. All the Linux command, not 100%, 99% I can say that the Linux commands are same only. The Linux commands are same only. The Linux command which I am going to use on Red Hat, the Linux command which I am going to use on Ubuntu, all are same. I'll show you uh, Linux operating system. Oracle Linux I am going to show you. The operating system what you see over here, this I am using it for my one batch. And this is my Oracle Linux. This is how the Oracle Linux will look after the installation. When we start with the Oracle DBA, there I will show you. But this is how it looks like the Oracle Linux and Ubuntu. We are going to see from today only how to install the Ubuntu and all. But if you want to see the Oracle Linux, the it will be looking like this. But do you think that in the real time production environment, you will see the GUI like this? No. In real time production environment, you will not see the GUI like this. You will only see the black screen you will only see the black screen and do you know how this black screen will looks like the black screen will looks like this this is the black screen this is the way your day will start and this is the way your day will finish see you can see over here there i have run one linux command so basically you need to remember and you need to learn this linux command only these are the linux command you need to learn and I'm going to show you how this Linux command works. What is this software? There will be a question and you might be curious to know that what is this software? I have never seen this software. What is this black screen? So we'll discuss about all this concept one by one slowly, slowly. We will see all these things. Okay. But today what we are going to do, we are going to download the Linux. The first thing is. In Linux, which Linux we are going to use? Ubuntu operating system. Because Ubuntu is quite easy to start. If I'm going with the very difficult lecture on the first day, you will not join my second lecture. So we are going to start with the Ubuntu download. And once my Ubuntu downloading is complete, then I'm going to install the Ubuntu. Then I'm going to install the Ubuntu. That's the next part. Apart from this, we need to also download one more software. Which software? Oracle VirtualBox. Oracle VirtualBox. So what is this software? 
see if you see this software which i'm using right now can you see here that there are around 10 15 machines are available here 15 machines are there around i can run this 15 machine as per my requirement if i want to use oracle linux i can start it and i can show you see here if i want to run ubuntu operating system i'm already having ubuntu june here which i was using in free sql and linux i can start it and i can run so what i mean to say I can run multiple operating system at a time. I can run Ubuntu. I can run August batch related to the Oracle Linux and this Windows operating system is also running. So three, three operating system I can run parallelly. This is all possible with the help of software called Oracle company provided software called Oracle VirtualBox. You can use Oracle VirtualBox second thing is or you can use vmware workstation also this is also one software is there but oracle virtual box is free of cost and this is paid so which one you want to use paid course or oracle virtual box obviously you will go with the free only na obviously you will go with the free so i am also going with the free oracle virtual box so Oracle virtual box will looks like this. So first of all, I am having Windows operating system. So currently I'm using Windows operating system. On the top of this Windows operating system, I'm using Oracle virtual box. And by using this Oracle virtual box, I can run my Ubuntu operating system. So this will be my Ubuntu. And under this Ubuntu operating system, I'm going to run my Linux command like LS, MKDIR, CD, all these commands I'm going to use. So first one is my Oracle, Vir so first one is my Windows. Under Windows, I have Oracle VirtualBox. And by using this Oracle VirtualBox, I can run multiple operating system. So we need to download two softwares. One is download and install Oracle VirtualBox download and install oracle virtual box are you able to understand any questions so far here guys let me know any question guys here let me know are you yeah, able to understand you server what you said vnc server vnc server that is mainly useful when you want to open gui okay on putty and all yeah, putty, yes, yes. When you want to open GUI, that time you can use VNC server or there is one option is also Xming you can use. Multiple options are there. But that is mainly useful when you want to open GUI. Okay. Fine. Yeah, okay, thank you. Currently, we are going to have the GUI installation but in future it will not be gui installation okay it will not be gui installation so first of all download the oracle virtual box how to download go to the google chrome and search like download oracle virtual box enter here once you are here click on the first link click on the first link and download the Oracle virtual box. Click on the first link and click on the download Oracle virtual box. Please click here. Do you have a, a, a laptop ready with you guys? Please follow me. If you don't have Oracle virtual box, please follow me and let's do that. Okay. And let me know if you guys are following me. Go so to I can install this virtual box in Mac as well, right? Yeah, we have that option also. You can use that. Click on the Mac OS and just install like that. Because uh, I already have something called UTM in my Mac and where uh, I have already installed Ubuntu, but I'm not sure is that enough. Uh, you can try this Mac OS, okay? Uh, if there is any issue, we will take your control and we'll see like what is happening there. Okay. Or uh, I'll ask my team to install it for you. But you can try mm -hmm. at least from your side once. Try to use this Mac OS. 
install it and then next steps I'll tell you is it done everyone okay those people who are already have it no no need to install it again okay click on the Windows host and it will start downloading over here you can see here on the top of you can see it's getting downloaded one more software please download guys this software we called it as a download any desk please download this software this by using this software only my support team they will take your control and they will fix the issue so click on the download any desk click on the first link and there is a windows mac all the options are there just click on the download now and you will get one any desk id after the downloading and installing it that any desk id you need to provide it to my team if they are asking whenever they are asking you please provide this any desk id to them okay so install this any desk software also this is also very important okay this is not the part of your ubuntu installation but whenever you face any challenge you can uh, you need to provide the any desk id to them so that they can take your control and fix the issue now windows host it's getting downloaded and if you want to install this software just double click on it say next 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 no need to use your mind pretty much straightforward and it will be and it will be installed after the installation if you just go to the start and search here with the oracle vm virtual box it will be looking like this this is a software i'm just opening it oracle vm virtual box so first task is completed the first task is we already have a windows and we have downloaded the oracle virtual box and we have installed it second thing second thing which we need to download is ubuntu how to download download ubuntu just search it like download ubuntu iso file and you will get the first link you will get the first link click here you will get the first link click here you will get the first link click here and click on download ubuntu desktop click on download ubuntu desktop scroll it down you can see there is one version is mentioned here this one download 22.04 this one click here click here and it will start downloading it, it will start downloading automatically no need to touch anywhere you can see on the top 4.7 gb of file will be downloaded now in my laptop i have already downloaded that so that is the reason i am not downloading it again so what we have done let me repeat it first of all we have download the oracle virtual box and we have installed it second thing is we have started downloading the ubuntu tomorrow's lecture i will show you how to install ubuntu in tomorrow's lecture i am going to show you how to install ubuntu in tomorrow's lecture and then we are going to talk about the linux command we have also try to install one software called any desk okay you need to provide any desk id to my team whenever you guys are facing the challenges that time only okay so that's the way we are going to do so we are going to install this ubuntu and on this ubuntu we are going to learn our linux command any confusion guys till now let me know if you have any confusion anything how to create any desk id no need to create any ID, any desk id as soon as you install this as soon as you install it automatically any desk id you will see on the top on the top any desk id will be there okay so can you tell me the step of ubuntu download again okay let me show you again just search here with the download ubuntu you will see the first link here uh, let me go back can you see this screen like this 
क्लिक ऑन डाउनलोड ओपन टू डेस्कटॉप इज इट डन स्क्रोल इट डाउन ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड यू कैन सी देर इज अ डाउनलोड बटन स्क्रोल इट डाउन लिटिल बीट एंड राइट हैंड साइड यू कैन सी दिस बटन कैन यू सी दिस once you click on it automatically it will start downloading here on the top for any issue guys please reach out to the support team okay yes, got, got it got it na even after the class if you have any issues okay uh, we are going to create the whatsapp group there you can post your queries take a screenshot and post it to the group okay uh, normally my support team is available by 10 to 7 pm that time they will be available so whenever you have any issues please drop a message and they will fix your issues okay hello yes please mr uh, data nahi hai mere paas itna ki तुम्हारे टीम Yeah, okay, fine. See, uh, or you can just you know purchase some data, maybe twenty, thirty rupees, two GB, four GB, and you can do that. Or maybe just go to any Wi-Fi center anywhere. Or if you are from Pune location, come to our office. We will give you. The okay, data fine. size is around four point seven GB. Okay. Yeah, yeah, four four point seven. anything like i don't want to go in much details today uh, like that's the way you can download the things but if you have any questions let me know i can discuss can i use linux instead of ubuntu you can do that but i would suggest to follow me uh, once you are comfortable because see your gui will be different my gui will be different so better we all people will be in sync so try to use the things which i am telling you at least for next 3 months later on whatever you guys want to use you can use that once you are comfortable with the technology understood na guys till now whatever we have discussed yeah. clear fine let's do one thing uh let's connect tomorrow okay and uh, then we'll see the how to install this uh then we'll see how to install this linux operating system okay that's the part we are going to see tomorrow the recordings will be available in one or two days we need initially few days to set up the things and all okay so we will provide you the recordings also okay fine sir will you provide notes notes also you'll get everything you'll get okay thank you sir Yeah, that ten sir, digit, is the, ten digit address is the any desk ID, correct? Yes, please. Sir, sir, uh, you already told that is there any access of lab also? You can get don't. that if you don't have laptop. Those people who do not have, who no, no, have no, a sir, laptop, I, but if you don't have enough RAM in your laptop, I have, sir. I already installed it and uh, I do some classes in the demo classes also. Okay. Uh, but if there any uh, lab that uh, we get a proper setup. you will get it you will get it if you want there will not be any gui in lab only commands will be there okay sir anyway i'm going to show on here only on my personal lin ubuntu machine only okay okay sir. lab is specially for the people who do not have enough ram let's say some people may have some 2 gb ram 3 gb ram so they cannot install it but if you want we can provide you like <laughs> there is no cost from our side we can provide 
again uh, those people who are comfortable and those people who want to take the training in uh, uh, pune location we have offline classes are also going to start okay we are going to start offline classes also currently one batch is going on as soon as we complete that batch we are going to start that offline batch also offline batches will be in hindi hindi marathi that will be mixed okay hindi specially normally hindi english like all the language will be there normally um so it will be mixed specially for the um, offline batches okay or even you can join online also not a problem there also uh, but this timing will be only for english batches is it clear everyone बट इट विल टेक समाइम टू स्टार्ट दैच बिकॉज वन बैच इज गोइंग ऑन देर Hi sir, uh, can you please help me with the syllabus? Syllabus you can check with the sales team. They will tell you. Okay, It means topics like which you are going to cover in the entire course. They will provide. If you are you DBA? No. Because if I am telling you, you will under you should understand. That is what I am saying. I am ready. Is R C included in the same course? see what uh, okay i'll tell you I, i don't know how much you will understand but let's see it will include your data guard asm patching upgradation uh, then your rman backup export import user management sql linux all these things will be included if you have any specific let me know i'll i'll say whether it is included dr also. dr is a data guard yeah data guard is there hmm. okay that is what i'm saying like are you dba <laughs> data card is included hello sir yes yes narinder sir i have a question uh, why we do not use linux in gui mode for production environment because running a gui is extra headache for the um, operating system because running a gui means extra headache means it will consume a lot of resources gui mode it will consume a lot of resources Okay. And there is a option for security threads also. So that is the reason they normally go with the uh, command line interface. Okay, sir. I have a one more question. Uh, we are using Tenz database. So uh, I have upgraded it to nineteen C, but uh, uh, we have used our uh, when we use our VB application, VB dot net application. We are using data type varchar there. Okay. But in 19C varchar is not supported. Okay. Why? Maybe they have replaced varchar with some other character. I don't know because that's specific to the data specific. Uh, uh, instead of varchar, definitely they might be having something different character. Maybe character will be there or varchar two will be there. Varchar two you can. Ah, uh, varchar two is there, but when I use Uh, uh, work instead of uh, worker i use care there uh, the application run fine and procedures also run fine worker to is it working worker to is working but worker is not working no worker is having problem i'll tell you what is the problem in worker let's say you are giving some size like uh, 10 okay 10 character but let's say you are inserting only two character that eight that eight space is there na eight byte space that will be unusable means other person cannot use that you got my point i'll share here okay okay if you don't understand i'll try to explain here that's the main difference between varchar and varchar 2 see let's say i'm saying that this is my 10 spaces are there okay Uh, one two three four five. Okay, one two three four yes. five. Let's say you are inserting a data here. 
here but you don't have any data here right here you don't have any data so when you say that name with the data type where care and five or and let's say you are inserting some two character only like a and b still it will consume your five spaces next next yes. time when you are trying to insert a data it will not use this free space you got my point it will yes. take the next space only next available space but if you yes. use varchar 2 varchar 2 this is more compromised so in varchar 2 let's say you have said total size is 5 but you try to insert only two record like only two character like this one and this one a and b this remaining space will will be used by next insert you can start reinserting from here a b c again you got my point yes Yes. So, Varchar Two is quite good in terms of space utilization and performance also. That is the reason they have removed this. So, I have to change uh, Varchar to Care, na? Varchar to Varchar Two. And... Use use Care Varchar Two. See, Care is the problem. You know, Care means you need to use only character. And this is also yes. fixed length, fixed length size. This Care is a fixed length size. Let's say you use ten, na? Then Even mm -hmm. though if you insert two character, it will consume your ten only. Mm -hmm. You got my point? Okay. So try yes. to use Varchar so two. What should I? Varchar two. Okay, Varchar two. Varchar two is okay. much better compared to others. Okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Yes. Fine, guys. We'll discuss about this in future also. Okay. So let's connect tomorrow, and we'll try to. uh so pranay singh can i join offline classes after diwali or 15 november you can do that okay uh after diwali we are going to start that offline batch so you can join our offline classes also so that memory wastage should be reduced we use varchar to yes memory uh, will be will not be in wastage in varchar to fine guys okay let's connect tomorrow and we'll continue this part thank you bye bye